Hi friends, today I am going to discuss about uh, JVP that is uh, jugular venous pulse. Jugular vein is present in our neck bilateral, bilaterally and this is directly connected to our right atrium. Hence, the right atrium pressure is reflected in this uh, jugular vein and and the pressure is uh, graphed like this this is the this is the main uh, thing to calculate the pressure in uh, to get an idea of how much pressure is there in right atrium uh, we can go for uh, jugular venous pulse here this wave is a wave this wave is C wave, this wave is V wave and this descents are uh, X, X, X and Y waves, X and Y waves. What denotes are uh, each has a special uh, name. We get A wave when atria contracts. We get C wave on tricuspid valve closure. Please correlate, guys. As atria contracts, the pressure in the atria will be high. This results in the this A wave, which is a uh, of highest peak. When tricuspid valve closes, consider this as a right atrium and this as a right ventricle. When tricuspid valve closes, there will be a bulge of uh, tricuspid valve. This leads. This again leads to the increase in the pressure in right atrium. This uh, results in C wave. Exactly for C wave, bulging of uh, tricuspid valve into right atrium during ventricular contraction is uh, is the reason for the C wave. And already there is X wave. X means uh, atrial relaxation. Next we will get V wave. This is the venous filling of right atrium. Venous filling of right atrium. Coming to the Y wave. It is a depression, depression wave. That is the pressure in right atrium is getting decreased. This is due to Passive emptying of passive emptying of right atrium into right ventricle, or it is also known as early diastolic filling. is the main thing you have to remember you can remember this by this thing a means atria contraction c means uh, closure of tricuspid valve x means uh, atrial relaxation v means venous filling of uh, right atrium to so superior vena cava and inferior vena cava blood enters right atrium this is a uh, v and it's a positive wave only x and y are uh, negative waves and V, A, C, V are positive waves and Y means passive emptying of uh, right atrium into right ventricle that is the early diastolic filling of uh, right ventricle this is the you have to remember these things this is the basic of uh, the basic of jugular venous pulse
And in some conditions, what happens, you have to remember. Atria contraction will be very fast in atrial fibrillation. Atrial fibrillation. So, we don't get A waves in atrial fibrillation. Atria contracts so much fast that it cannot be recorded. And we'll have uh, prominent A waves. We'll have prominent A waves in tricuspid stenosis. Prominence. I will. I will write uh, later. I will write in another page. Prominent A. Yeah. Just imagine in tricuspid stenosis, the pressure in. Uh, uh, the blood from right atrium uh, cannot go into right ventricle uh, easily. Cannot cannot go into right ventricle. As a result, the pressure in the right atrium will be increased. This results into a, in a prominent A wave. Other conditions are pulmonary hypertension, any right atrial mass. Or thrombus. When a atria contracts uh, against a closed tricuspid valve, the increase, uh, the pressure will be severely increased. Uh, this is due to complete AV block. This seems in complete AV block. in ventricular tachycardia also. This has a specific name. In these conditions, these are called canon waves. That is even more bigger, bigger, bigger A waves. A waves. Canon A waves. There are some conditions uh, related to uh, X and Y. Uh, these are, there will be a ra rapid X descent. X descent will be very rapid like this. Consider this as normal, uh, and and this as a rapid descent, and there will be a prolonged descent. I'll write uh, another way. Generally, X descends like this. It may descend rapidly, or it may descend slowly. The reason for this is. As I already said, X wave occurs as a result of atrial relaxation. In constrictive pericarditis, constrictive pericarditis and uh, cardiac tamponade. Atria relaxes so much faster. That's why it results in rapid. And where where uh, we can see this prolonged uh, X descent is tricuspid stenosis. As atria cannot relax faster in uh, tricuspid stenosis. That is, uh, as I already said, blood cannot go to right ventricle as easily as normal individuals. In tricuspid stenosis, uh, the X wave will be prolonged, and some right atrial myxomas also. Right atrial myxomas also leads to prolonged right X descent. Coming to the Y descent, uh, rapid Y descent, prolonged Y descent, rapid and prolonged Y descent. In tricuspid regurgitation. The emptying of uh, 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 right atrium is very fast. It is uh, it is opposite to this uh, tricuspid stenosis, where atria cannot uh, move blood faster. In tricuspid, tricuspid regurgitation, there will be a rapid uh, wide descent. 
and where we will see the prolonged uh, white descent is uh, cardiac tamponade. Many questions are asked based on JVP in relation to constrictive pericarditis and uh, cardiac tamponade. Prolonged white descent, rapid X descent is uh, cardiac tamponade. Only rapid X descent is constrictive pericarditis. Please remember this the this is the main thing and all the best for your exams. Thank you and please subscribe to my channel if you like the video.